<laughs> man. I'll tell you what, it never ceases to amaze me the comments that I get on some of the videos that I post. Now, I don't mind disagreement. You know, it's fine to disagree with me and, you know, have a reasonable objection. But some of the people that just, like, follow me around, I'm sorry, I don't normally like to call names or anything like that, but, man, there really is a group of people out there that the word baltard perfectly fits. So I thought I'd go ahead and define a baltard for you. They're usually a firm believer in the ball earth who typically trolls social media, accusing others of being ignorant or stupid, usually while exhibiting many of the manifestations of the same attributes themselves. Often an argumentative person who displays extremely high levels of cognitive dissonance, a person fond of quoting others who suffer from the above and who shows a very clear lack of having done any actual research themselves, and it's used informally, usually uh, as an offensive noun, uh, a, as a word used to describe an obnoxious person who regularly accuses others of being foolish, stupid, or worse due to having contrary views concerning the shape and nature of the earth. And uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of people undergoing baltardation. For example, in my previous videos, I've been showing you exactly the science behind what I'm doing as well as the experiments and how I did them. I'm showing you exactly what I did. And still the ball tarts come out in force. <laughs> just, I think I need to write a sitcom or something and call it the ball tarts. And the theme song will go something like this. Ball tarts, meet the ball tarts. They're the modern bonehead family. They're on social media and the post on every single feed. That's right. They're the morons down the street. They will never do a test for you to see. When you're with the ball tarts, you'll have a blah blah get a clue time. A freaking zoo time. You'll have a gay old time. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was therapeutic. I had to I just had to get out. <laughs> anyway, I know I, I probably shouldn't be wasting my time doing this, but I decided to repeat the test because Science is all about observable, testable, repeatable observations, right? And this time, even though the previous test was done on a table with non-reflective tablecloth on it, I decided to take a piece of soundproofing that I had left over from when I was doing the audio drama for Seed the Series. And I even left the end curved up like this, so it really should prohibit any possibility of reflection bouncing off the table. But uh, here we go again. Here's the same test, this time with soundproofing, lumpy soundproofing that would prevent any kind of reflection. And here we go. Oh, looky, looky here. I got the exact same results. Huh. Wow. It's got to really stink being wrong all the time. Okay, Baltards. Do a little bit of research for yourself. Actually, do some testing for yourself. Get up, stand up get out of your armchair critic chair and actually go out and read some books do some tests do some experiments for yourself and show your results to the rest of us thanks